Hello, people. We're in our old location. Throwback, am I right? Uh, uh, throwback, throwback Thursday. Oh, my throwback parents' Thursday. sofa. We've tried to blur the background, but it's not, you know, the depth doesn't work. Amelia's got, like, grey, blue hair. Which doesn't usually happen in the old videos, but now it is. She's a whole new person. A whole new person. And we're here to talk to you about our family and our family history. Now, a new Pixar film is out called Coco. It is out in cinemas at the moment. And what it is about, it's a lovely, happy film about family, following your dreams and your ancestors. And it's just a feel good film. So because of Coco, we decided that we want to find out about yeah. our ancestry. And we want to find out about our family and where we've come from and who they are. Because we actually don't know, but it's kind of really important because they are the reason you are here. Yeah, we want to know why Amelia is the way she is, basically. I need some answers here. She's so, you know, that. Let's just, let's just, let's just get on with this thing, yes? <laughs> so we did a bit of Googling. Um, we got some help from some people and we found out some interesting facts. So we thought we'd tell you them in a video. It's really fascinating. I'm going to start off with talking about our dad's side of the family, right? Yeah. Bear with us because we've got it all written down and it's very lengthy, but we've, we've made notes. Our great, great granddad's called John Mandeville. Then he has a son and he calls him John Mandeville. Then he has another son and he calls him John, John Mandeville. Uh, we're at my, our granddad right now. Yeah, so our granddad is called Called John Mandeville, his dad's called it, and his dad's called it. Anyway, my granddad gets together with our granny, Hillary. They have a baby, and they're like, hmm, it's a boy, what do we call it? And obviously... You can obviously see some tradition here. Yeah. John Mandeville. John Mandeville. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Granny being the rebel that she is, she was like, YOLO, let's call him Matthew Mandeville. I wonder where she got Matthew from. I don't know. I think what I'm going to try and do with this is try and link my family history and me as a person and see if it affects me. Well, actually, that kind of, you're quite stubborn. Yeah, I guess I am. I see the connection, guys. If some, I, I'm the sort of person, if there's a trend or if there's something that's really popular, I'm immediately put off. So if someone's like, you should watch this show, everybody loves it. I'm like, no, I get stubborn. Yeah. So maybe. Maybe that was granny. Maybe that's all from granny. But if you know granny now, she's like down, down to earth, all peace. And like, she's all like. All flowing, no yeah. anger, no like, all chill. And let's all love each other. Apparently, the Mandeville family was actually from Ireland. No, oh, I don't really? think we so had any Irish. I didn't think we had any Irish in us at all. I have no idea. Mandeville. Maybe, maybe the next video we should do a DNA test. But yeah, and then they came over in to, then they came over to England uh, when the invasion by William Conqueror in 1066. No way, so we're, we're, going actually, back. we're actually proper we're Irish. We're basically Irish. And then we just came to England and we're like, we live here now. Yeah. That's why I have an Irish twang. I have an Irish twang when I talk. No, you don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> Where did you... I'm this is how I talk now. This is how I talk. I'm Irish. I'm sorry. Anyone that's watching this from Ireland, I, I do apologise. Just you wait for hearing about our mum's side. Mm. Ooh, so that's Nana Berry's side, Uncle Robert's side, Aunt Tiana's side. side. You've seen a lot more of them in front of the camera. Yeah. My favourite part of this, okay, so there's loads of interesting bits, but I've jumped to like the way older older, older generation. So it's our great, great grandparents. One of our great, great grandparents was called Adelaide Stock. Game of Thrones fans, are you excited? Cause I am. That is insane. How cool is that? What, We're like, practically in Game of Thrones. What, like the Stark family? Yeah. Like, uh, what's his name, Stark? I've got Arya Stark. Yeah. We're in, like, we're literally related to Game of Thrones. Yeah, but Game of Thrones is fiction. Yeah, yeah no, I'm aware of that, but I'm just saying. So there is one piece of information that is my favourite bit of information. I'm not really sure if it would affect me directly because what I'm going to tell you, let's just, let's just get into it. Our other great, great grandfather uh, was called Rodney Levitt. Okay. He grew up in Hampshire, which I find this quite fascinating because... So many of our sex side of the family live in Hampshire right well, now. Well, Nana was telling me on the way here, because Nana gave me a lift, Nana Barry, um, she was telling me that when Auntie Alex was doing the family history, because she did it as a project ages ago, they went round graves in Hampshire to try and find these family members. Grace, where Grace lives is really near Hampshire. Yeah, my Nan lives in Hampshire, and my aunt lives in Hampshire, and then my uncle lives also like in the outskirts of Surrey and Hampshire as well. Yeah. So that's crazy. That's not even the crazy bit. Rodney Levitt was growing up in Hampshire, and they took a lodger, and the lodger's name was... Flora. Her name was Flora Timms and she was a writer, but her writer name was Flora Thompson. Now, maybe that is why 
there's a connection there. Can can I be an, a, an okay. inspiring writer? Let's just get this right. What Amelia's realised here is that there's a successful writer that has a slight connection to our family, but there is a no actual like blood relation no, here. No, no blood and relation. She's realised that she's going to use that as a sign to try and pitch that she's a good writer. I'm just meant born to be a writer. Also, I'm kind of thinking maybe her writing and her passion for writing had an effect on my great grandfather, and then oh, it like okay. you it can like do that got one. into the that genes. Works. And it that just... one works, you can do that one. Can yeah. it? Because then how does that follow through? As we know, Flora was a writer. Yes. And Flora... <laughs> we just made that one very clear. Flora wrote a semi-autobiography called Lark Ride to Candleford, which sounds very like Lark Ride to Candleford. Lark Ride to Sounds Candleford. like murder mysteries. Yeah. Eva Cooler, she wrote about the Levitt family. So she wrote about our family in her biography. That's pretty cool. I want to read it. And even cooler, you want to know what's even cooler? I love it, as long as you stay in shot. The novel was adapted for TV. It's a TV series, so it's now it means I don't have to read the book, I can watch the TV series, which makes my life a lot easier. And it appeared on the BBC, only like the biggest channel in England, on the BBC between 2008 and 2011. That is so cool! Our family have been written about in a book, and then the book has gone on to TV. That's our great great granddad! It's almost like us showing our lives online all the time. I just think that's a sign that one of my books is then going to be adapted for TV. No, I'm going to be honest, it's cool, but I don't think it's that cool. I think it's amazing. Like, it's cool, No, 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 do you not think that's cool? Like, we might have watched it on TV once, and we don't know who that granddad is, and that granddad is our granddad. Yeah, but it would be cooler if it was you that had, like, done something that's now a TV series. Yeah, but it might be a sign. God, her with these signs, who knew she was that person? So, I'm gonna be honest right now, you're probably thinking, how on earth did you find all that stuff out? We know how ditzy Amelia is, we know how Grace doesn't really like to read, how did you find all this stuff out? Um, well, we didn't. We didn't. <laughs> Basically what we did, we called up a guy. Just is a he guy. a genealogist? Uh, he focuses on finding out ancestry I think that details. is what he's called, his like, name. Yeah. And um, we gave him our family tree, and through that he somehow found all these cool details out, which I think is pretty fancy. Yeah. So we hope you found that interesting. I definitely did. I feel like I know who I am now. Do you? Yep. You found yourself? I found you? myself. Gosh, I feel like every video ends with you saying you found yourself. No, but what I would say is actually, if you are to take anything from this video other than good old Flora, who wrote a novel and ended up becoming on the BBC, like, I'm proud of her, but if you took anything else from this video, um, like, maybe just sit down one day, talk to your grandparents, or see if you can find out things that you didn't know about your family, yeah. because it's actually really important. And I guarantee if you sit there and talk to your grandparents and your um, family about your family history and stuff, they've probably got some really exciting and interesting stories yeah, to tell. Yeah, they do. Because they lived a whole different life. Thank you Disney for sponsoring this video and also giving us the opportunity to find out this about our family. It was really, really good experience. Yeah, the film Coco is out in cinemas now, so make sure you go and check it out. Let us know what you think in the comments below and we will see you next week.